The introduction of electric trains on the East Coast Main Line coincides with the retiring of the previous uh, part diesel fleet. Approximately 30% of all the uh, services were diesel stock. The timetable introduction that we're working towards is completely electric and therefore it brings uh, longer trains, uh, more efficient trains and of course more environmentally friendly trains. So this project's using a new proven technology which is in the form of static frequency converters um, which is a, a, a neat smart bit of kit which sits between the railway and the, the electrical network where static frequency converters clean the supply between the railway and the network, enable us to, to harness power from more localised supplies. Well, the, the alternative would to have been to have brought a higher voltage supply from much further away, uh, which would have involved a, a high voltage cable across countryside and, and town environment, which is disruptive and can be complicated. By putting this system in has allowed us to get rid of that long high voltage cable from many miles away. So the Rail Alliance is um, six organisations brought together by Network Rail. Um, the purpose is the strength and depth of the supply chain, so six different businesses bring six different ways of operating. The client gets the best of six businesses working together as one, um, so that drives efficiency and that drives a lot less risk and that drives better performance for the industry. I feel that the, the project's delivered really for, for the customer because we're going to be getting more trains on time. It's delivered great value for money. This is an innovative project, one of the first for the network rail. And because we had that early stakeholder in, involvement, the project runs smoothly, it was delivered on time. It's been a win-win for everybody involved, particularly the customer, because we're going to get a more reliable and resilient railway. If we had approached that next upgrade using traditional technology of National Grid Transformers, we know from our planning uh, position that that would have cost us in excess of a billion pounds, and perhaps with some of the land purchase needed and the time associated with that, perhaps one and a half billion. Using the equivalent technology that you can see behind us, we can do the upgrade for uh, less than half a billion and therefore we're saving real material capital cost in terms of the infrastructure and the time and therefore we have brought forward a saving of about a half billion pounds through this technology for the next phase of the East Coast upgrade.